Wait, this doesn't make sense. The map said the pit would be here. But there's been severe internal damage. He will have to rely on these life support machines unless we can get something more portable. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. Percy, you're okay. Thanks to you. Who built those machines, Gort? The Hive. The machines maintain the environment of Nebulos. Except for out here. They never come out here. But the machines are also enforcers. Why run? Look out! No! No! <laughs> enforcers for the Hive. For here on Nebulos, it is the people who serve the machines. And the machines serve the Hive. Ten rulers and their supreme leader, Zarek, living far under the ground. They've developed their mental powers to the point where they can control machines with their very thoughts. But their bodies have weakened and are totally useless. The machines are the hive's eyes and ears and all fists. We Nebulons discovered what the hive was and we've been fighting them ever since. Duros, Styler, Arcana and I are strategy. Pinpointer, Firebolt, Recoil, Haywire, Peacemaker, and Spoil Sport are our soldiers. Everyone a crack shot. Yeah, we've been dodging those machines all our lives. And we know every weak spot on them. But if we had your strength, your size, your, your power... In other words, our bodies. You know, Brainstorm, that idea of yours is beginning to make more sense by the minute. You mean putting humans, uh, nebulans, inside the Autobots' bodies? It's the only way we'll ever defeat the Hive's machines. And it's the only way we can rescue the others and keep the Decepticons from getting this! Agreed. And it's the only thing that'll save my son from being tied to a life support system. Let's 